How to get around was the talk of the town at today's active transportation summit, along with plenty of free family fun. The city of Bakersfield asks for the community's input to see how they can make our streets safer. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Peronian explains. A free event held by the city of Bakersfield took place at the Bakersfield Community House, giving people the opportunity to learn more about active transportation, safety and the changes that will be seen on our streets. The day was all about transportation and mobility and how to improve it here in Bakersfield. Whether it's walking from point A to point B, riding your bike or scooter or driving your car, the city of Bakersfield wants to make traveling safer for everyone. You look at our roads right now and of course they're focused in on, on moving vehicles to and from, but we do see bicyclists interacting, we see pedestrians as well. Uh, so where we can provide safe crossings, uh, where we can provide wider sidewalks. According to Bakersfield Public Works, they are constantly working to provide safer and more comfortable spaces for all modes of transportation. And these changes can be noticed in your neighborhood. There are locations where we're starting to mark our streets differently, where we're putting green paint on, on the pavement, and that green paint is uh, there because it's supposed to help folks recognize when you're driving in a car, that's an area where a bicyclist, you may come in conflict with a bicyclist in, in that area. Blue Zones Project co-hosted Saturday's event and they said Bakersfield is ranked high for pedestrian fatality. Now they want to focus on strategies and policies that will strengthen the safety on our streets. Nationally, Bakersfield's ranked number seven for pedestrian fatalities. So we're actually working on a pedestrian safety campaign, which is perfect because then we have the campaign going on alongside with the Active Transportation Summit. The summit had bike and skateboard safety demonstrations available for visitors, as well as a raffle for children and adult-sized bikes and skateboards. And if you love a good fruit smoothie, well, I hope you pedal the smoothie bike, which blends the faster you pedal. Reporting from the Bakersfield Community House, Mary Pronian, Eyewitness News.